Hello, Pastor Steve Waldron here today. We're going to look at the NET Bible, the N-E-T, the NET Bible. It also stands for the New English Translation. Later on, we're going to do a review of the Bible, Lord willing, and, uh, you know, just kind of look at that. But we're going to look at the translation itself today. Now, the NET Bible, the foundation of it was from 1995. A group of scholars was there at the Society for Biblical uh, Literature and just began discussing it. And today, it's considered to be the Bible Research Foundation considers itself kind of the gatekeepers of it. Now, if you look at who that is, it consists of about 22, 23 people, and all but one of them have something to do with Dallas Theological Seminary. Seventeen of them were like professors there, and six were, including one woman, were students there. Only one person didn't have anything to do with Dallas Theological, including the general editor, the Old Testament editor, and the New Testament editor, Daniel Wallace. He's got so many things in textual criticism in, you know, on the internet and has a biblical institute of textual criticism, as a matter of fact. And so the NET Bible, it uses the Nestle's Allen 27th edition as a base, even though it diverts from that the Septuagint influence about 500 times in the New Testament, and then the Biblia uh, Hebraica Stuttgartensia in the Old Testament is its Old Testament base. And so it has about 60,932 notes, translator notes. A lot of people think it's neat. It's meant to be free. They say it has no translational bias. It's all the body of Christ. And uh, somebody has rightly pointed out that was what the Jesus Seminar said as well. Now, its translation philosophy seems to be uh, somewhat looser, a looser form of dynamic equivalency. And that's fascinating. And a few other points about the Net Bible that are, are interesting that you need to know before you use this authoritatively as, as some kind of incredible Bible that first of all, even though they do take suggestions from people on the internet of maybe it should be this, maybe it should be that, people like reading the technical translator notes, the 60,932 translator notes. There has been, you know, it's been a beta edition, the first edition, the second edition. It's, it's kind of like a translation in flux. But one of their translation methodologies is when they translate the Old Testament, they don't look at the New Testament. They said, the Old Testament is just going to stand on its own regardless of what the many hundreds of, of quotations of the Old Testament and the New Testament. We're going to look at it on its own. So, like in Isaiah 7.14, it's going to use uh, the young woman. It's going to take out that prophecy that Matthew said that it was a virgin. They're going to say, no, we're going to translate that a young woman. There are several other places like Psalm 8, just many, many, too numerous to to uh, go, but that has some issues in it, many places in Isaiah, besides Isaiah 7.14 and that type of thing. So that's a fascinating translation philosophy in and of itself. Some other things when you get into the Net Bible is uh, they're not always concerned with accuracy, and since the text base is even fluid, that um, and so they do want some readability. When I say they're not necessarily always concerned with accuracy, they do want readability in there as well. They say well, we, we send things to the textual consultant, and most people would assume that that is Daniel Wallace. Now, also, another thing is, is, is they go to great lengths, for whatever reason, to hide their connections with Dallas Theological Seminary. So, you know, the Net Bible, it's fascinating got one, I was really kind of into it when it first came out, that kind of thing. It's got some neat stuff, but um, is it really something you want to just like preach from and use as your main translation? Is it something that you want to say this is authoritative, especially since it's a translation in flux, especially since it is very limited in the number of translators that it's got? And they see, you know, they basically said we're not going to look over the translators' shoulders and all that kind of stuff. 
you know, the textual notes, you could probably use some of those. But even that is very limited because, you know, there's so many thousands upon thousands of, of manuscripts just in Greek. And then the other languages that the Bible is translated into as well. There's a lot that goes into choosing and understanding biblical preservation and, and what constitute God's preserved word. So the Net Bible is, is another translation that has come out. It does come from the critical text. It uses critical text methodologies. I just wanted to make you aware of it. So God bless. Just keep reading, loving, praying, and studying that word of God.